were cut from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Uh, I want to return to 3D printing of guns. Talked about it earlier in the programme. Uh, the headline you might have seen is that a federal judge in Seattle blocked the release of software that would have allowed virtually anyone who had a 3D printer to then print the materials to make one of these guns. Let's meet Jeff Rodriguez from Seattle. Already has the software that the judge banned today. And I understand, Jeff, you've been printing and shooting from printed guns for over three years now. Why? Uh, that's correct. Um, it's a, I don't know, a personal interest in uh, advancing the politics of, of um, access to un undocumented firearms. So, go a little further with that for me. You want to explore access to unregistered firearms. How do you feel about it? What would you like to happen in society? Um, well, I mean, I don't think the government has any... Uh, business knowing who has what guns. I, I know people would disagree with that, but um, I don't think that's their, their business. Um, and I want to do what I can to uh, take that out of, out of their purview as much as possible. Which I suppose you're doing in this particular instance, but there sure would be people that would disagree with you with that particular sentiment. Why do you not want to register for a weapon that can kill somebody? Um... I don't think it's I don't think it's any of the government's business. I mean, in the same way that I have all kinds of things, I have a, you know, at any any grocery store, there's all kinds of things that can kill people, but they don't need to be registered. It's not, you know, I don't feel like I need permission for, um, you know, to, to do things peacefully in my own time in my own house. Yes, but I suppose some would call what's happening in the United States right now an epidemic when it comes to gun violence. Cars, for example, they're registered. A gun, shouldn't it be given uh, the respect and also put on a level with something that it is of public interest and also safety for the authorities to know about? Uh, I can see part of that, part of that argument. Um you know, in the, in the sense that cars being registered, that's to drive on public roads. Um, yet you might have a, a, a better argument if you said if you want to carry a gun in public, you might need a, a, a license. I still don't agree with that, but you, you might have a little more mileage out of that. Jeff, um, I, I just, yeah. we should have you back on to have more of the gun control debate, but I do want to hear, because I haven't got that much time with you, and I think our listeners will too. Uh, you've got this sure. software that was banned today, correct? Uh, yeah, it wasn't software that was banned. It's basically, I mean, 3D images is what they are. Um, the, the software is, is, it's not software, it's basically a picture, a 3D picture. So it's pictures that are on the computer that show you how to do it? Uh, pretty much, yeah. The, the models for the, for the files to be printed is uh, what they're trying to prevent defense distributed from sharing with other people. And it's not illegal to download them, it's not illegal to print them or make them, it's illegal to share them. Uh, do you think that they're basically closing the gate after the horse has bolted? Um, yeah, uh, yeah. They're, they're trying to build a stable after the horse is long gone. The horse um, is long is, gone. This, have you shared it, or have this, this is over? Have people shared it with you, or have you shared it with people? Uh, you can go download it on the Pirate Bay. Anyone can. I'm sorry. Say that again. Just, anyone can go download it off the Pirate Bay. It's readily available. It, just, as, just as much as, as Game of Thrones last episode was. You can go download the gun. Okay, that puts it in context for us. I think that's quite a, an easy way to understand it if you put it in the same level as Game of Thrones. What have you printed off? What have you made? Um, I've, I have my own gun design. It's a 12-gauge uh, shotgun that I've put hundreds around through and would basically, you know, if I didn't have any other gun, would feel safe to send my, my home with that. Um, there's a few other guns from the group Boscad, which is the group that puts out the, uh, the they call it the Mega Pack that you can go download. And uh, they're the ones, <clears throat> one of those in there was a semi automatic, semi -automatic 9mm so, um, pistol. Yeah. So a lot. Thanks very much for speaking to us, Jeff. We'll have to have you back on. We have to go further down this path of guns. But that's Jeff Rodriguez from Seattle uh, and has printed off nearly a dozen guns from his 3D printer. You're listening to OS. Thank you.